Hello Taurus and welcome to your August 2020. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Taurus, this is for you. We're going to see how this person is feeling about you, Taurus, and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Ooh, okay. So they see you as a new energy, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this person is feeling you, Taurus, all right? They feel this new love connection here. They want to explore it further. I feel like they're kind of getting ready to come out of the shadows here and let you know that they're interested. They're getting ready to let you know that they're interested in you. And you're going to have to decide if... Um, you would be interested in pursuing or dating or talking to someone like them, right? So let us see where this is going, Taurus. Very nice. This is for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Nice. They want to talk to you. Lots of communication here. Nice. Okay. Um... So they're kind of, you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. So what this person is doing is working up the courage to let you know that they're into you. All right. So queen of wands energy, male or female, absolutely does not matter. It could be dealing with a fire sign, somebody with strong fire in their chart. You can have strong fire in your chart. But here's the thing with the queen of wands, the energy of the queen of wands this, they're stepping into their power, right? They're straightening up that back and they're getting ready to come after what they want. That is the energy of the Queen of Wands. So, um, right? <laughs> so they're summoning up their courage here, stepping into their power, and they're getting ready to let you know they're interested, they're attracted. And uh, lots of communication here. So very good all right they may see you as a little guarded a little hesitant they may see you as having your walls and your defenses up but they are determined to get past your defenses right they want to know you they want to get to know you so they may see you as a little bit of a wounded warrior here right with your walls up um but you know you're going to have to decide is, is this somebody that you would be interested in because they're most definitely interested in you. This is somebody that you would want to let down your walls a little bit for and let them get to know you. Nine of Wands, more fire energy, because that is what they want. They want to get to know you. That's what they're wishing for. They want to date you. They want to take you out. They want to um, have fun with you. They want to laugh with you. They want to talk to you. That is what they're wishing for, right? Um, they like your energy, they like being around you, and they want more of it, okay? They want more and more of you, Taurus, all right? Nine of Cups, this is um, wish fulfillment, 
This is happiness, right? One of the happier cards in the tarot deck is water energy. So then we have the hangman here. So they've kind of, I feel like, been checking you out for a hot minute. For a while, their heads all lit up, but they've kept them ha their hands to themselves until they felt it was the right time to make that move. And it's a bold move, right? And they had to get their courage up in order to say something and make that move, ask for your number, at, you know, whatever. So they've been kind of, you know, checking you out, keeping their hands to themselves, waiting on the right opportunity to present itself and it's presenting itself so there we go so they're deciding when to reach out when to let you know and then you're going to have to decide if you want to reciprocate their interest all right so there we go all right Taurus I'm going to read the energies of the cards if the sign of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future. If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluent. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. Ace of Swords here. So new beginning. Uh, they want a victory here. Um, they want you to say yes. They want you to talk to them. Lots of communication here. Ace of Swords is all about clear and honest communication so they definitely want to talk and they want to start off on the right foot right um, so victory here they're coming in to conquer this situation and um, yeah they're getting ready to let you know they, they're feeling uh, very powerful right now their confidence is exactly where it needs to be to do this all right so page of wands you could be hearing from this person they could be asking for your number they could be, you know, sending you um, a, a message on social, social media or something along those lines. Um, passionate communication here. They are showing you, you know, maybe it's very flirty, this message that's coming in. You, there's not going to be any kind of mistake that they are interested in you. It's just not some friendship type of situation. They're, gonna, they're going to let you know. They're, they're letting you know. They want more and more of Taurus, Page of Wands. That's fire energy. Good news coming in. They see a nice balance with you. They are afraid that their interest in you is not going to be reciprocated, so you're going to have to decide that. Ball's going to be in your court here. Um, but they feel like you guys would fit well together, that it would be a nice back and forth, a nice balance. Six of Pentacles, that is Earth energy, so that's very good. Um... They have doubt sometimes. They had to get past this doubt and they had to get clear. So they, it's like they took this sword and they got clear. They settled their emotions, okay? So it's like they had to settle down. And then they had to think of a clear way to make a decision to be able to do this. Um, they were just like, I feel like they were doing a lot of fantasizing about you as well. A little intimidation involved when it comes to you. Um, so their emotions were a little bit all over the place. They didn't know how to pursue, what to say, what to do. But this is them getting their courage up. This is them stepping into their power. This is them taking that Ace of Swords, clearing out all this fog, all, the, all this illusion, and just doing it. Making a, a decision to just go for it. All right, so Seven of Cups, that's water energy. So that's very good. Right, so they're getting ready to come out of the shadows. You could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong um, Pisces in their chart. So they're getting ready to reveal their interest in you, Taurus. Um, yeah. So it was, it was a little hidden. But now they're getting ready to step out of the shadows. Right? Right. They do a lot of fantasizing about you. All right, so this is for Taurus. Any more information in regards to how this person is feeling or what actions they will take towards Taurus? Communication again. They've been waiting on the right time. This is going to change everything. 
it's going to be a whole new chapter. So they see you as being a little bit guarded, like, you know, the wounded warrior here. And then we got the seven of wands. So they see you as being a little bit protective of yourself and your heart. And that's fine. So they're going to say what they need to say. And then the ball's in your court here. If you want to um, show interest back, that's how they're seeing it. Um, but yeah, a little bit of an intimidation thing, but they don't care what other people have to say. They're very passionate about you, very attracted to you. This is all the naysayers, everybody's mouth, everybody's opinion. They're over that. They don't care. Um, they're going to fight for the connection. They, they want to make it happen. This is somebody in the warrior's pose here. So you're, you're a bit reserved. You're a bit guarded with your heart. They don't know how you're going to react to them saying what they need to say to you, but they're doing it anyway. Um, seven of wands that's fire energy so communication 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 basically clarified by communication they want a nice back and forth here like i said they could be reaching out to you via the internet or, or whatever but whatever the case may be they're going to get communication to you letting you know hey i'm shooting some arrows of love at you here taurus right come on and and, and you know shoot some back to me <laughs> eight of wands this is um more fire energy more fire energy lots of fire very attracted to you so they want a nice back and forth communication they want to get to know you if you will allow it they want to get to know you if you will allow it all right so like i said they've been waiting on the right time the right opportunity to send this message and they want to show you, hey, I'm here. I want to put in work. I will be patient. I will, um, you know, I'm planting this seed. This is them planting this seed. And they're hoping that it's going to grow. They're hoping this is going to grow and go somewhere. They want success here. They want that victory. Seven of Pentacles, that is earth energy. So right this is going to be a whole new situation here they're not here to breadcrumb you take advantage of you and they will show you that they want this to be a very you know back and forth balanced situation it's going to be a whole new scene um so this person may have been single for a hot minute maybe you have been too so this is going to change everything right they want to change things they want to transform the situation and they they want death to old ways new beginnings you could be dealing with a scorpio or somebody with strong scorpio in their chart but this person's ready for this kind of a change they're ready for some new love in their life they have put a close on past chapters and they're hoping that you have too right so they're getting clear they're making very clear decisions they're putting a close on past situations and they want a new chapter here with you. This person is ready for new love with you, Taurus. And they're hoping that you're ready too. They're hoping you're ready for some new love in your life. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. This person can live at a distance from you with this card. That's for some of you, not all of you. It's gorgeous. New chapters, new love. Death to old ways, new beginnings, lots and lots of communication. Are you interested, Taurus? Will you be interested in this individual when they finally come out of the shadows? That is the question. Man, they are hoping you will. They are hoping you will be interested in them. All right, Taurus. Very interesting. A little reading here. Pretty hot. A lot of fire. You ready to go? They're ready to go. All right. That's how they're feeling. I hope you have enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. I'm also going to leave a link to... Um, my latest collaboration with Lisa at Heart of Inspiration. Um, she and I did a crystal grid video where we show you how to manifest um, personal wealth and abundance into your life using the power of 
crystal grids and it's pretty awesome and I love it. We did one for love also. I'll leave both of those links down below in the description box. Taurus, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. So um, check all that out. All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Next week, Taurus, I'll be working on the mid-month readings, so check those out. Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic day, and you're taking very good care of yourself out there, and you stay very happy and very healthy, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care, and God bless.